Hey, hi everyone. Hello and welcome to this demo session on ABAP on cloud training along with SAP RESTful application programming model with ABAP. In today's demo session, we will go ahead and discuss about my upcoming course on ABAP on cloud. What is that which we can do with SAP Cloud Platform with respect to ABAP programming language? Many of you are born ABAPers like me. I've been always fascinated with ABAP programming language working since many, many years as an ABAP developer. So we, have see, we are seeing a change in the industry. Most of the companies are now moving to cloud-based solutions. And hence also it's important for us as a developer an application programmer to move our development effort also towards the cloud side. You have seen in my recent courses about SAP UI5, Fiori, Gateway, OData, SAP Cloud Platform, HANA Access, along with the on HANA, that we are doing a lot of programming to make our solutions accessible into the cloud. As an effort of that, in ABAP on cloud training, we will also look at new RESTful application programming model with ABAP, so-called RAP. With that, let's get started and first understand the different perspective with respect to ABAP on cloud. So a quick journey introduction for ABAP on cloud journey. In 2017, SAP has announced the beta release for ABAP on cloud. Afterwards, in 2018 September, they have also announced a general availability for SAP, SAP's ABAP on cloud portfolio. And then between 2018 and 19, now SAP also have a couple of projects built on top of ABAP on cloud, including some partner project developed on ABAP on cloud, which are adoption projects. SAP has also introduced new application programming model for ABAP programmers called RESTful about programming model, which includes concepts of CDS views, OData and Fury annotations. And now in 2019, SAP has announced SAP Cloud Platform trial offering for ABAP on Cloud as a general availability for people like you and me who can now go ahead and try for the first time ABAP on Cloud. And coming number of years, you would also be able to see many innovations happening in this space and as an ABAP developer, I cannot resist myself to get the first feel of ABAP on cloud. So let's look at from a developer perspective, what is that which we can find in the ABAP on cloud portfolio? So the very first thing, the purpose of ABAP on cloud is to decouple your side by side extensions, which you were typically doing in the ABAP system earlier and probably those those extensions or those enhancements were actually causing an upgrade to break. So the idea is to use ABAP on cloud, which is outside your SAP typical environment and build an extension, which is parallel to the ERP core or S4 HANA core. By doing this, you will make sure that your core is being stable, yet you remain integrated with the stable core. The second important thing is you will be able to adapt yourself to the new programming model. So whether your existing system upgrades or not upgrades to the new uh, NetWeaver releases or whether your company decides to move to HANA or not, still you would be able to use the new ABAP RESTful application programming model with SAP Cloud Platform because that's completely based on SAP Code to Data Paradigm on SAP HANA which also allows us to utilize the new concepts like CDS, MDP, OData and Fury user experience. With that also you can eliminate, get rid of your typical SAP quit transactional approaches and also the deprecated ABAP statements. At the same time, what are the benefits when it comes to ABAP on HANA Cloud? The first biggest benefit is usage of SAP Cloud Platform services which are offered in SCP. Example, SAP Portal services, machine learning services with SAP Cloud Platform, including Fiori services. There are a lot many other services like IoT service, Leonardo, Leonardo as a service, currency conversion as a service, and there are many, many of them. 
the another benefit would be to manage your source code using something called collaborating model using git repository the complete source code management version control and uh, and the repository will resides with the with the git so that's another benefit you get out of this new programming uh, into the cloud then you will also be able to build solutions which you can sell to your customers if you are an sap partner you would be allowed to build solutions commercialize them and work together with sap to to, to commercialize your solutions to your customers so these are all the the major benefits and of course as an as a programmer it makes also sense for you to remain up to date so that in your company you would be the first pioneer to to try out a bob on cloud in the system so without wasting time let's go to the system and see how can we equip or make our system ready for the first use of a bob on cloud now a couple of important note here that I will not be able to explain in this demo session what is ABAP development tools in Eclipse, how did we got that or what is basics of SAP cloud platform. So that's something which we will do in our live session, in our live course. If you would like to attend this course of, of ABAP on cloud, please check the description of this video for more details about subscription of the course as well as free demo details. You can also attend a free demo with us live instructor led live training for above on cloud end to end where we will cover all the installation required setup server access and all the end to end development using above on cloud with new restful application programming model. So with that, let me quickly switch to our SAP cloud platform trial account. So this is your uh, SAP uh, cloud platform trial cockpit. Here I will enter in our trial account and then the very first glance what we need to do is go ahead and create um, a new sub account. So I've already created a, a sub account so called trial. So SAP Cloud Platform org structure is something like creating a global account and then under the global account you have a sub account. And of course we will talk about all these things in detail what it signifies and as an organization level what it means for you when we'll get in into the detailed training for above on cloud and then under that we have to go to spaces so spaces basically like your dev space quality space and production space it's it's actually represent the same and now i, I will just go ahead and create a new dev, dev space over here so let me just click on dev click on save so under this space now i will be uh, getting all the offerings and I will be this is basically my development environment under which I will create my my uh, subscriptions for the different applications so let me go inside the dev space and over here I will go to the service marketplace and you would find different services over here offered as part of SAP cloud platform which you can also leverage now with the help of about being available in the cloud now I can go to the above trial service over here which is now available and we can just go ahead and create a quick instance for this above trial service so let's click on new instance of course it's going to be based on sharing basis uh, you would also can opt for a productive cloud uh, platform main account global account as well as subscription where you can get a dedicated instance for that for that for demo purpose as of now we are good to go with the shared instance let me click on next and now I would be entering my email ID. So uh, let me just pause my screen and enter my email ID. So that's anubo.abap at gmail.com. Just enter my email ID over there and then I click on next button. So on after entering my email ID, I just choose next button and I'll say application none. That's fine. Click on next and I'll just give some instance name so I'll just enter my instance name Anupo app on cloud and say finish so now this would create a new trial instance for our above on cloud system you can see it's been created let's get in inside the system and now I would like to access this system from my uh, from my app development tools in Eclipse so let's click on service keys and let's create a new service key so basically how do you connect to this cloud system from my local ABAP development tools in Eclipse? So to do that, I need to 
have a special token uh, which will be presented to SAP Cloud Platform so that SAP Cloud Platform authenticates my user and allows me to access the, the shared services, so-called Ababan Cloud Service through my local ABAP development tools in Eclipse. So let me click on create a service key and just give some name, Anubhav UAA. So UAA stands for User Authentication Service. So basically, uh, it is going to create a UAA service file in JSON format. We will discuss all of this in detail when we get into the live training. So right now, just understand creating a service key, basically a token to access from my local computer to this cloud platform account. Say save and you see the service key has been generated successfully and now I'm going to get this key, copy that and let's switch to my ABAP development tools and Eclipse. So those who are completely new to ADT and, and, and the Eclipse uh, workspace environment for ABAP, don't worry. We will discuss this more in detail as part of our um, detailed course. So now this is my fresh installation as on uh, 2019 September release for Eclipse. Um, in which I have also set up my uh, ABAP development tool in Eclipse, imported to it. And as a result of that, I do have this, uh, this available to me over here. So now I can see here different variety of options. Very happy to see here, create an ABAP project, uh, which is a cloud type of projects. Yeah, so that's for something we can, we can definitely now choose from. So let me just click on, please create an ABAP cloud platform project, please. And now, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and choose my service key. Let's say next and pass my service key, which is the token to authenticate my user and connect to the cloud account, my cloud trial account. Say next and voila, it gives me a logon page, which is beautiful. Maybe I would want to log on with the browser. So say log on with the browser and it launches my uh, session logon session here in the browser uh, and I just choose my credentials my trial account credentials to log on and now you can see it's been successfully authenticated let's go back to Eclipse voila you see it's now trying to connect to an SAP instance of up instance uh, the system ID is DRL with a generated user uh, logon language English and client it's 100 super let's click on finish and now to see a system has been added as i mentioned it's a shared system so you see we are not the only one in the system there are lots of other developers who have trying their hands in above on cloud really yeah so you see a lot of people have built a couple of packages in this shared instance we are not the only one so maybe i'm just going to now go ahead and create a new package for my developments and what uh, we will do in the next session is uh, we will be creating uh, a database table using core data services in ABAP and we will also create a simple uh, ABAP class to insert the data in our database table. So with that, uh, please check the description of this video. If you're willing to join this course, don't forget to subscribe this course on our website anubhavlearning.com. You can always go in there and find the latest tutorials on uh, different topics like UI5, Fiori, Gateway, Audita Services, Launchpad, Fiori Security, Advanced Fiori Concepts, ABAP on HANA, CDS View, CMDP, S4 HANA Technical Stuff, S4 HANA Cloud Extensions, HANA Access, Hybris, SAP Cloud Integrations, end-to-end um, -end cloud development, about uh, objects, object-oriented programming, Webtin Pro, workflows. You have everything related to your technical need available on our website, anavowtrainings.com. Please watch the description of this video to subscribe to our free demo session on Above on Cloud and also subscribing to our training on Above on Cloud. With that, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Catch you up on the next session and goodbye.